Hello, welcome back to Bebop Review. So we're continuing our discussion on tetrachords. Before I start, I just want to show you a mistake that I made last last in the last video. I said that the Greeks used to use the early Greeks used to use two tetrachords like this. They'd knock that one off, and they would have a tetrachord like that and a tetrachord like that. But the thing is, that's wrong actually, because a tetrachord, I didn't, I, I'm really surprised that I didn't actually explain this in the last video, I'm, I tell you my brain's going dead. A tetrachord is a distance of a perfect fourth, right? So that distance there has got to be a perfect fourth and that isn't, that's an augmented fourth. So you've got to make that a flat, then that's a perfect fourth. Now that's how the Greeks would have played. A two two one two two one pattern. You should have seen that. That I actually got two there. Just not thinking. But you've got to watch out for me that because I'm not actually. I haven't got a script doing this. I'm doing this all out of my head because I don't really want to spend that much time writing scripts out. Because I'm not getting paid for doing this. So, so you've got to watch for me making mistakes. And if you see me making a mistake, it's good anyway. Because if I make a mistake, then you should see it and correct it. It shows that you're paying attention. Okay. So that's what the Greeks would do. It would be always a perfect fourth. All tetrachords are a perfect fourth, okay. Okay, so last last week I was talking about major tetrachords. Uh, and I just want to show you something about major tetrachords. We'll just write down C major scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And if we look, we've got a tetrachord here, which is a 2-2-1 two, two, pattern. So that's a major tetrachord. We've got the link. We've got another major tetrachord here, two, two, one. Now if we if we carry on with letters up here, so we're going C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, whatever. If we just change this, if we actually had a link here, and then another major tetrachord, which is this, two, two, one. You can see that just here we've created a G major scale and if we go the other way we put another tetrachord here 221 we've got a link we've got an F major scale and that's what you can do you can create scales that go on and on and on you can just go backwards and that way and they all join up in the circle of fifths so I just want to show you that that major scales just move on to each other like that okay Hope you're writing all this down. So with a major scale, they just go on and on around the cycle of fifths. But that don't help me a Lydian scale. If I write a Lydian scale down, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. You've got the link here, which is two. That's the link. Then you've got the major tetrachord to here. So this is a two, two, one. And then you've got another two, two, one here. And you've got these two major tetrachords bang next to each other, so you can't you can't go around the circle of fists. You just, just can't do it. Uh, we're lid with a mixolydian scale. Just write down a mixolydian scale. With a mixolydian scale, we have. Uh, sorry, just get rid of that sharp. With a mixolydian scale, we have uh, two tetrachords together, don't we, like that. And then we have the link here. So it's two here on the link. And then you've got two, two, one, two, two, one. That's very much like the Greeks used to do this, the scale, isn't it? You used to put them one after the other. So because it's you've got these two tetrachords together again, you can't go around the cycle of fifths. The thing about the mixolydian, oh, sorry, that's... I'm doing this again, aren't I? It's got to be a perfect fourth. Uh, so, the, the thing about the, the mixolydian scale is you can write it another way, which I'll show you, where you can go around the cycle of fifths, which is quite handy. So, I'll, I'll come back to the mixolydian scale in a bit, but first of all, I think we'll do minor. Yeah, I think we'll do minor scales next. Uh, so, so, the first minor tetrachord is, I'll write it down from C, C, D, E, F is that one and it goes like this, 
two, one, two. That's the gap. Right, and that's called a minor tetrachord. So you want to memorize that. So it's a two, one, two pattern from the bass, right? I'll show you the scales, what's that's in. First scale it's in is in a Dorian scale or a Dorian mode. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Uh, so we've got E flat there and B flat. That's right. Yeah. So this is our, our Dorian scales uh, constructed. We have a tetrachord here, and it's perfect fourth. So the pattern is 2, 1, 2. Then we've got a link, which is 2. And then we have another tetrachord here, which is also 2, 1, 2. So we've got two minor tetrachords. This is minor tetrachord here. And then another minor tetrachord here. And it's surrounded by, it's linked together by a link. So that's a Dorian, Dorian mode. And on a C major scale, it would be D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It would be the notes from D to D, sorry. That would be a Dorian mode in a C major scale. Okay. So the next one is, uh, so that's a, a minor, isn't it? So the next one is called a natural tetrachord. So a natural tetrachord looks like this. C... D flat, E flat, F. So it's still got its perfect fourth, but now pattern's changed again, hasn't it? So we've got one here, two, two. So that's a natural. Natural tetrachord. So you want to memorize that as well. Natural ten, uh, tetrachord. And then you find that in quite a few, well a couple of scales anyway, uh, three, that actually you find them in the remaining three, three modes of the major scale, so I'll just show you what they are, so we've, we've done, the, we've done the, the major scale or the Ionian mode, we've done the Dorian, we've done the Mixolydian and we've just, uh, Mixolydian and the Lydian aren't we? So let's have a look what uh, the natural tetrachord is in. Well, it's 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 uh, in the Phrygian, which a Phrygian scale. Remember, if you go C D E F G A B C D E, it's the in the major scale. It's from E to E. So writing that down from letter C, it'd be C D flat E flat F G A flat. B flat C, that's right in it, friggin'. Uh, so the pattern is this, you've got a tetrachord here, and the pattern is one, two, two. Then you've got a link here, which is two, and then you've got another tetrachord, which is exactly the same, one, two, two. So that's that's a Phrygian, Phrygian mode, or Phrygian scale, whatever you want to call it. And it's got uh, two, natural tendon tetrachord so that's natural tetrachord and another natural tetrachord there okay so I hope you've wrote that down so you you find that natural tendon in a phrygian you also find it in you also find it in a locrian mode which is if i put a b there in in c major locrian mode is b to b I'll just write in locker mode down if I can. So in from C it will be C D flat E flat F G flat A C D E F G A flat B flat C. That will be it, won't it? Yeah, yeah. The only, only the one that's thing is F. So that's a Locrian. So that's made up of uh, a natural tetrachord, which would be one, two, two. 
So that's a natural tetrachord there. Oh, let's just do let's write that down better. Better than that. Put it like that. So it's a one, two, two. And then you've got another one, two, two. There, yeah, look, one, two, two. So you've got two natural tetrachords, and then you've got the link at the end here. So that's how you write a Locrian. So that's a Locrian tetrachord. And that's made up of two naturals, natural tetrachords. Okay, and a link at the end. So you've wrote that down. So there's one more scale which is which we haven't looked at yet in the mid scale and that's obviously from A isn't it so if I just do that oops and we go I said from A to A which is the natural minor we get one in we get a natural tetrachord obviously so writing down the natural minor from C would be C D E flat F G A B C B flat A flat. Oh, that's a natural tetra, uh, natural minor scale, and the te tetrachords in this are. First of all, we get a minor tetrachord here, so that's two one two. Then we get the link, which is two, and then we get the natural tetrachord which is one two two so you've got you've got a minor tetrachord here and you've got a natural tetrachord there okay so that's how that's constructed so that's all the all the tetrachords that you use in the C major in a C major scale or any scale you know you, so what we'll do now is there's one more tetrachord that's uh, related to minor chords and that's called the harmonic it's basically con to construct a harmonic minor scale and a harmonic one goes like this so if we've got C D E F let me just think now so E F C C like that so it's one three one okay uh, it's, it's a one. Th it's called one three one. That's called a minor. Sorry, a harmonic tetrachord. So now you've got all the tetrachords. That's the whole lot. That's all the ones I know. I mean, pe people make that thing other ones up, but this is the ones I know. So that's in a harmonic minor scale, isn't it? So let's write a harmonic minor scale down, shall we? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So we've got an E flat there, and we've got a A flat there. That's it, isn't it? <coughs> so it goes like this. A harmonic minor scale goes like this. It's got first of all, it's got a two one two, which is a normal minor. That's a normal minor chord. Then we've got a link. And then this tetrachord here is harmonic. And that's a one, three, one. Okay. So that's harmonic minor scale. Harmonic minor scale. Okay, so you've got all your tetrachords. So Looking at the tetrachords again, let's have a look at the tetrachords from the beginning and see what we've got. The major tetrachord, the pattern is 2, 2, 1. The minor is uh, 2, 1, 2. The natural is 1, 2, 2. And the harmonic is 1, 3, 1. So if you look at the major, this two major minor is that one's just shifting down one in it. So I mean, it's one, duh, duh, it just shifts one way. So the, the, if you're practicing these, actually playing them and practicing them, what I do is I'm just showing you this, but don't do it by music. Do it. Do it